Maybe a new idea for you guys on how to get aquarium plants in your aquarium without too much grief. Now, sometimes I do this um, purely so I can mess about with the tank and keep my plants. Um, I don't need to do it with the Anubis or the Java Fern purely because they're already connected. However, if, for instance, I grew something in the sand, if I wanted to do something, I'd have to take the sand to pieces. This way, with my new tubs, I don't have to. And you can grow pretty much anything you want. And it's easy to do root tabs, easy to clean the tank. There's lots of reasons to do it. Anyway, I'm going to show you how I do it. Hi, guys. They're looking nice, aren't they? Now, I had some questions about these. Now, that one is just sand, and that one's just got some moss in it. And I wanted to see if it was possible to grow anything. So what I'm gonna do, bear in mind in this tank over here, we had some success with the grass, apart from the plants eating, uh, the fish eating it. Now, there you go, look. So what I'm gonna do, is in here we have some grass seed lots of it and with this if you can see that i'm going to plant it and see what happens so i'm pretty sure we'll get some success and the reason i want to do this is just to see if it's possible okay because if you wanted a bare bottom tank you could put these now all this is is a tub that you get Tesco salad in. I'm a bit partial to one of their salads as it happens. And that is, seems to be the perfect size. Now, this has obviously been eaten pretty voraciously by the fish. Look at them, look. Give me food. Some nice colours in there, isn't there? I'll get some 4K footage of that, I think. So I'm going to do that. And all I'm going to do is that. And it's been told to make them a little bit damp first, and then I'm going to pour this over it at a level of about two and a half centimetres or an inch. And then I'm going to put some more sand in, uh, some more seeds in, and another two and a half. And so, so it's just literally a little bit under that. So I'm going to tip some of this out, and I'm going to do that and see what happens. I think it'd be quite successful. Okay, so we've given it another centimetre, so that's kind of where we want to be with that. And then what we're going to do, we're going to get another one of these and just gently sprinkle it over. Like that. Let's go too much. I'm probably going to give it a couple anyway. And we're going to spread that around. Then I'm going to add another sort of centimetre or two. And then we're going to immerse it. I'm going to give it some water and see how we go. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so there we go. And we have lots of grass seed in there. It's actually quite good soil that stuff is. So we're going to see how that grows and get a good idea from it. Okay, so we're going to leave it there for a few days. and get some rays. And hopefully these seeds that I've left on top will be an indicator of what's going on underneath. And we will get grass. Now if we do get grass, I'm going to try it in the tank because the only thing stopping that grass growing was the guppies giving it a large munchie. So let's see what happens. Thank you for watching guys.